Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. We should be finishing up the day one investigation of Turnabout right. Corner today. Oh. oh boy, let's just continue with that, shall we? Uh, we found... Her panties. And yeah, we found, and we found white, white powder. powder, which I'm guessing is the same powder that should be like, let's examine for fingerprints. Mysterious, Science! Mysterious white powder with the alleged ability to improve Detective Sky's mood. Oh yeah. Oh, well, that's old. Hmm, the, pot, the bottle has a label on it. Can you read it? Uh, not a word. I'm sh not sure I speak whatever language this is written in. That's too bad. I guess we're stuck with this mysterious bottle of white powder. Aw. Oh, I didn't think- there's not like a blood stain at the bottom or something? Blood! This was used to kill the guy! Aw, oh, little plub's not around. That's a shame. Yeah, you should have been the one to voice her, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe like, in the future. Because <laughs> my- like, in try if she comes to court and has to testify, I'll be like, Well, it was- <laughs> <laughs> like, Alright, fair the story. enough. Maybe. Hey, Emma. <laughs> um, does this ring any bells? Oh, is that- it couldn't- where'd you get that? I brought it from the office. You work at the writing company law offices? Yeah? Uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D daddy I I'm sorry, who did you say you were? Tracy Wright. Phoenix Wright's daughter. What?! <laughs> Mr. Wright has a daughter?! You seem shocked. W well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice, then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling me <laughs> Mr. Wright's apprentice. This powder's used for detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints? I guess you might call it a memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. White powder memories. If you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. We'll dust for prints. I love this pose of hers. She's got the really nice smile. Yeah. Well, she's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. <laughs> so, about these. Sorry, I don't think I can help you with that. I think you need more than just scientific help. <laughs> but ask me anything you like. Just ask scientifically. Okay. I think you need more than scientific help. Ah, oh, an attorney's badge. It reminds me of when Mr. Wright was still defending. Everything I have now is thanks to him. Remember, help as many people as you can. That's your job. She's right, Polly. Let's make a difference. Is something wrong? Ah, uh, no, n nothing. I, I actually felt inspired for a moment there. I mean, I would too. It's Emma Sky. <laughs> How could you not? Oh, we haven't checked this out. Oh wait, isn't that her phone? I just realized. <laughs> Maybe. Look at the cute little watch strap! I want one! It's kind of odd, though. What is? I mean, if you wanted to know the time, you could just look at the phone itself! Hey, you're right! Sharp, Apollo! Th thanks Finally, some respect! So what does that tell you? Well, the owner of this phone doesn't think through the details, for one. They did drop their phone, after all. I kind of figured they were a little spacey already. Oh, good point. I just realized, because her phone was pink in the other one. We just barely saw it because the police were like, I'm taking the phone! <laughs> and they like grabbed it. No, nope, that enough was voice. just Emma's phone. Yeah, no, And we Emma... didn't get it as evidence. Yeah, but we saw it? Briefly. Sorry, I don't think I can help you with that. Oh, but... Yeah, that's, oh. that's not her phone. Okay. Sorry. Oh, come on! <laughs> hey, you got a ball. Sorry. Bowl. Don't Can I, ball. like, go back to eating my food? <laughs> the case. The report came in late last night. The body was found as much as you see it now. Except it was a real body. But why? Why was the body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? 
Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. It is if you're in America. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly this is J Japan. This is not to not that the noodle stand okay. and the kimono lady tip. But it's you also off. not like Japan has no guns. How do you get guns? Like, there's probably guns there. <laughs> you work for the mafia. <laughs> Yeah, right Wait, across the oh, street. I mean, that's the Yakuza. More, that's more the, yeah, the Yakuza. No, that's more the thing that I was kind of like, hmm, there's murder in the park. Right next to... The Kataki the Kata family. Yeah, the Kataki family. The Where Katana is, family. <laughs> they should just be the Katana family. Unless you're a cop or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Paul Merk... Merktis? Pal Maractis. Like, Pal Like malpractice. Oh. Pal Maractis. <laughs> I just received the autopsy report, in fact. Maractus's autopsy report added to the court record. I mean, really? What's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off pulling the mysterious noodle stand behind me. <laughs> this is my favorite pose of her, I think. Hmm. One of them. She looks just, very pouty. She's just like, Ugh. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stand came from. The noodle stand's owner is... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have better things to be doing. I'd make more progress eating snacks than listening to this drivel. You could try actually investigating rather than just standing around. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> Who's the old guy? This is the proprietor of Eldoon's noodles, Mr. Eldoon himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work. Thanks. Noodle stand added to the court record. What sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean, what did he do? He was a doctor. We kind of already knew that. We went into his garage, met his Supposedly. cat, stole his phone, <laughs> wrecked his you car. You think he had a pink phone? Maybe he had, maybe he was a sensitive soul. <laughs> I don't know. A doctor. I'm starting to see a connection here. Who? Me? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky. Hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Ooh, where were you? Stu or were you studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. But when I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs, just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensics expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but... I had lots of favors to repay to the people back here. Like Edgeworth. <laughs> like Edgeworth. Like... Like Bailey. Uh, like, <laughs> like Phoenix Wright. Also, if this technically was... Like, this is a Japanese game. If this took nope, place in Japan... American. Okay. This is definitely American. But if no. she... If this takes place in Japan, and she goes to Europe, she has to know, like, English. That'd be really hard. In science. Science is already hard enough. English? If you have to learn that, too? Like, yeah, yeah. props to you. Favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in a, an incident before I left. But Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owe them. Really? I had no idea. If she's been out of the country for a while, she probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current, um, state of affairs. Um, uh, could, could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kataki family, yes? Waki, t Waki Kataki. I don't know if he's the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around. Violently. In the detention center. I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? You are a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his by any chance. Uh, actually, yes I am. For a sec, I mixed up the N with the H. No, you're hot, are you not? <laughs> <laughs> Emma is hot, let's be honest. <laughs> well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Chances are it was that old, or not the old lady. I'm sorry for calling you old! She's like, what'd you say? What'd you say about me? <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the old lady who was climbing over the fence, who was no! probably no! old bag, but yeah. maybe not. Eh? The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Uh, tell me about that. No, the victim. Could you tell us a bit more about the victim? Well, let's see. Apparently he's a physician at the clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is the Maractus Clinic. 
Hmm, maybe that's why the cop car was parked there. What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah, though on a related issue. <laughs> I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. I see. So that means... Dr. Maractus stole the stand and pulled it all the way out here? That would seem to be the case. But why? Don't ask me! Can we present something to you? Oh, actually, yeah, we could examine stuff. And this is Mr. Eldoon's noodle stand, obviously. It does say Eldoon in big letters, doesn't it? And that mark on his paper lantern there looks familiar. It's going to be a little weird telling him, what with the corpse and all. Anyway, that wraps up three of our cases. That's right! Congratulations, Apollo! And leaves us with one case that's worse than all three put together. Murder. Blue tarps have been placed on the ground around the stand. Apollo, I bet the victim was going to have a picnic here! I guess he could have eaten all the noodles he wanted. Don't touch those! Those are preserving the crime scene! Oh, I guess the police put those tarps here after all. <laughs> I thought it was to soak up the blood. But that would be ridiculous if the blood was around the noodle stand. Yeah. This mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. A mannequin in place of a body. The body of the victim has already been removed. Do you think the victim was the, was the noodle stand thief? What? You, you think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah! Taking care of business. Little plum Kentucky style. Try not to sound too eager about that, please. Maybe Plum was just the murderer. She's like, yeah! I Whatever. Do Sometimes you just get, get these manly gotta, urges. You just gotta kill, kill someone. Some <laughs> I just realized Plum Kataki is basically like an older version of um, Grenda from Gravity Falls. I wanna punch something! Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I don't see the connection there except they both have deep voices. But they're both like the manly girls who one of like, them is stuff. blatantly japanese the other is not no but i'm saying they're both like muscular gals who have really deep voices who like want to punch stuff and they're kind of ridiculous and blunt that's why i made but they look sense. absolutely oh no they look they look nothing alike for sure it's a knife a shiv yes a shiv you've never heard of a shiv yeah i'm not sure a shiv I, is a knife. A shiv is a knife? Okay. I've never heard somebody be like, hey, can you hand me the shiv? That's because it's more of like... I won't say like... A murder weapon? More in the context of the, that, yeah. Like, a pocket knife is not a shiv. A shiv is like something that you is specifically to stab someone, not to like... Cut oh, something out okay. Something okay. A shiv, to be precise. Ooh, lingo! The defendant walkie-talkie is the son of known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Huh? Look at this. There's a handprint on this shiv. A handprint? Then there may be fingerprints. Let's investigate! And everybody has a blast! Right. First, choose the fingerprint you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint? Look closely at the handle. See? There's more than one fingerprint there. Those black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. Probably the darker oh, one. Oh, we can only examine the darker one. Right. Let's get detecting. Wow, she's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some of the aluminum powder over the print. Just touch the screen like this, see? The oil left by the print should absorb the aluminum powder, so you just dust it on. And blow it off. B blow It's like whistling. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your lips together. You don't... Well, do people blow to whistle? I never blow to whistle. I always inhale to whistle. I blow. How? I cannot... Paddle. How do you whistle by inhaling? I don't whistle, whistle well, but I can't make the sound... I can't make the sound by blowing out. I have no I idea can't make how the you sound coming. Could. I can't make the sound going in. It's like... That's the most sound I can do. <laughs> I can do a better one if I blow out. You gotta move your tongue a bit. Oh yeah, okay. But then it sounds weird. It does sound wow, weird. amazing! It's like magic! But it sounds better than blowing. <laughs> Isn't it, though? 
Right, let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. Also, I don't remember what hotkey I set blowing to, so I'm gonna have to check that. Check the controls. Check in controls. Maybe we just tap the screen? No, it's that's touching. Uh, microphone is disabled. Aww, golf ball sized. Hell no. <laughs> we'll do R for record, because it's a microphone. Touch screen magic. This, this is a lot better on the DS. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I wonder how they would do it, because they re-released this, like, in HD for... Oh, maybe it wasn't the Switch, maybe it was the 3DS. They had it for the 3DS and the Switch. Hmm, good. Clear. Quite impressive. Next, to match the print. The police office has samples so you can tell which fingerprint this belongs to. Hmm, that doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. Oh, don't worry, we have everybody's fingerprints in town. <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> well, but how else would we have gotten this? This is why, like, those DNA ancestry things are so sketchy to me, where it's like, oh yeah, just hand over samples of your DNA to some random company. Yeah. And what could go wrong? I, I, in the first place, I'm not really curious about it, so I wouldn't anyway, but... Because yeah. I know our, our mom talked about, like, oh, we should all do that for, like, our grandma's birthday. I'm like... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Grandma. Well, I'll well, give you, like, a Sudoku book, but I will not. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Sudoku, you mean? Oh, did I say Sudoku? Sorry. Sudoku. That, that's the Star Wars version. Count Sudoku. <laughs> Count Sudoku. <laughs> you failed me for the last time, Obi-Wan. That's not the line. <laughs> <laughs> you failed me? <laughs> we, need, we need to rewatch Star Wars. I'm not rewatching episode two. That one's Oh, that was two? Sad. I thought well, that was from three. Oh, no. I, I, was say, <laughs> I was saying, you failed me for the last time, Admiral, but in Count Dooku's voice. <laughs> and then you said Obi-Wan. Yeah. <laughs> pick the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. It's probably Little Plum. <laughs> 42. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Clavier Gavin, yeah. Yeah. Palmeractus. <laughs> <laughs> this is Emma Oh my gosh, her fingerprint is exactly the same as it was in Rise from the Ashes. That's cool. Hey, <laughs> America. <laughs> Trucy, right? Wait, was that the... No, I guess it's not. <laughs> it's Trucy's knife. That would be Wait, funny. hang on. <laughs> it's like a Poe, it's not mine! <laughs> I just wanted to check. It's similar-ish. Comparison complete. No, no match me. found. Oh, you just try again. Cool. Thank goodness we have a computer that does this for us. It's a match. Match found. So, the fingerprints do belong to the defendant. Yes, isn't it amazing? Ah, the power of science. It's my life. Apollo, she's sparkling. And I'm dibbing. Look sharp, spirits up. The real fight's yet to come. Chin up, Polly! The trial hasn't even started and I'm already losing! Knife added to the court record. I I really appreciate people who are good at science. Hey, Emma! Give me your mood snacks! <laughs> the defendant's fingerprints were found on the knife. Which means that, at the very least, he was here at the scene of the crime? It's highly possible, yeah. Ugh, this doesn't look good. No use worrying about what's out there already. What's out already? Not out there. <laughs> out there. Out there on the streets of Paris. <laughs> I don't remember the lyrics of this song. <laughs> really? You don't remember that? That's such an iconic song. <laughs> Living in the sun, give me one day out. The there. part, you know, what part of that song I do remember? <laughs> you are deformed. I'm <laughs> you deformed. Are. I who keep you, feed you, teach you, dress you. Yeah, because of Kingdom <laughs> Hearts. Because of Kingdom Hearts, he s just speaks. That I who true. keep you. Teach you, feed you, dress you. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> you just worry about what's yet to come. <laughs> I like to imagine Emma's trying to do scientific stuff and Trucy and Apollo are just like quoting weird <laughs> stuff. She's like, what the heck? Oh yeah, this We're is so weird. weird. Neural stand! We can literally like rotate it around and stuff. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> Look at the front <laughs> pale. Or that. Yeah. Huh? Look at this, Apollo. Mr. Aldoon spelled his name backwards on this side. 
Um, I think that says noodle. As in Eldoon's noodles. Huh. Oh, I get it. So the name of his store is the same whether you read it forwards or backwards. Yeah, I guess it would be. Well, except for the last S. Then how about a store called Team Meat? Uh, close, but that would be Tame Mate backwards. And what kind of store is that? <laughs> Why, a store that sells meat. It's not meat unless it's Team Meat. Trucy's very bizarre. Yeah. The most bizarre yet. Maractus's autopsy report, time of death, June 14th after 10 p.m. Cause of death, single bullet to the right temple. Not blunt force trauma to the head. Finally. Victim's name, Palmaractus, 46, male. Estimated time of death, June 14th between 10.15 uh, and 10.45. Damage to brain, resulting from a bullet wound, points of interest, entry point, right temple. Get it? Points of interest. Haha. <laughs> ha. When you're talking about the, with people, like, oh, wait, what, are you, nope. what are your points of interest? <laughs> nope, there's one other thing we need to examine. Almost forgot. There's got to be a good clue or two around here in the trash can. You and your trash cans. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Please, can't you see I'm doing my... Huh? L look! Another pair of underwear?! <laughs> wow, Apollo! You're a genius at finding panties. Stop saying that! Wait, these aren't... They're not mine. Could these have been stolen too? Bloomers added to I think the it is. Record. I think it is Hottie that is stealing all of these. <laughs> Direct, no, Director Hickfield. <laughs> yeah. So, have you met the defendant? Ah, uh, no. Visiting hours are almost over at the detention center. You might think about wrapping it up here and heading over. Good idea. I don't know what good it will do. We have a witness and a knife with prints. Have I mentioned I've got a bad feeling about this? Don't worry, it's like a right tradition. Some traditions I can live without. I, I do must say, as much as I like Gumshoe, I really like how Emma's the main detective in this game. Oh, she is! Yeah. Okay. I But I miss Gumshoe. I wanted to see him, like, running around at 40, like, God, have some ramen. <sighs> he, he wouldn't be 40. He, well, actually. He could be 40. Wasn't he, like, 28? Or was he, like, 30s? That's a sad man who's 28, if that's the case. <laughs> yeah, he is a sad man. <laughs> hey, Kentucky, Kentucky Mansion. <laughs> well, this music's great. This is Trucy's theme. Yeah, it's just pretty weird. Also, if that girl is not a daughter of a fae, I'm gonna be really shocked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. You heard it here first, folks. June 15th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. I'm sorry, meeting hours for the day are all done. But, but we still have three minutes! I'll put in your request, but don't expect anything. The father's talking in the private room with him. The father? You mean, like, a priest? I mean the suspect's father, Mr. Winfred Big Wins Kataki himself. Not someone I care to meet. Die, you! You're the one on your way out, old... Ah, they're here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's got a fox on his apron! <laughs> Whoa! This guy radiates power. Power with a cute apron? Man, forget Mike Tyson. <laughs> you walk his lawyer. Y yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Wins Kentucky, fourth head of the Kentucky family. Capiche? Er, actually, I came to speak with to your son, Mr. Justice. Yes. My son's innocent. He killed no one. If he were found guilty. It wouldn't be good. Capiche? Y yes I'm all about Capiche! Capiche loud and clear! <laughs> you gotta do more than just understand the make it. You'll learn though. Even if the lesson comes at the end of your short life. Ugh. I don't feel so good. What's the big idea, man? You can't treat me like a kid no more than that now. You know I... I... I wanted to go to the clink! I like it here! You... Uh... You must be walkie? <laughs> She's not a cheat though, he does a hard time, boy! <laughs> <laughs> You'll see, when I get out of here, things will change. Silence. My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. Ha! You can't take me under your wing this time, old man! You heard me! I don't need no trial! I did it! Oh! I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. 
So basically the dude's just like, yeah, I killed him. No problem. And then his dad's like, you gotta make the deal. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. What, what's that thing with the genie? You Malone? gotta be a straight shooter, shooter, dude. <laughs> sparky. He's sparky. That's you. what I was thinking of. <laughs> so much for talking to our client. But we made so much progress today. We even found my panties. I had fun at least. Of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? Oh, almost forgot. It's time for my show. Tonight I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come out and check it out. I don't want to see you at the bar. <laughs> it's, I don't it's wanna, a pub. I don't want you. I don't want to be associated with you. <laughs> wow. That's harsh. <laughs> well, okay. It's it's just like. You know how there's the person where it's like, okay, I would, like, I don't mind supporting you, but I don't want it to be like, oh man, I'm friends with the weird magic girl who's, like, throwing <laughs> things out of her panties. That is kind of odd. <laughs> like, you Trucy, know I mean? maybe you could have just done it out of your hat. That would be a little more cliche, but a lot better. You no, know, but you get more money at the bar if you do that. <laughs> Uh, no, if people come to see a panty show at the bar, yeah. they're going to be very disappointed if it's just their <laughs> That's how they match. advertise it. Here you go! Here's a bowl of noodles! They're just like, oh, that's not what we wanted. <laughs> anyway, let's end the episode before this goes into weird territory. It's already we, gone into weird that's territory. That's true, it already has. Thanks for watching, everybody. Aren't you glad I put these disclaimers at the beginning of all oh, of the yeah. episodes? Oh, Warning, yeah! Warning, this episode contains panties. Don't watch it. You should you add know. that for the... <laughs> For all of the newer ones. <laughs> not until after. You're like actually. partial nudity. <laughs> That's not nudity! That's a piece of clothing! <laughs> I know. <laughs> People are just like, whoa, what's like, uh, dark uh, Also, in this game? one of the Phoenix Wright games, the, the Spirit of Justice on the 3DS, has partial nudity in it. It does not. I don't know how it got that rating, but it does They're not. They're like, we added a couple things that you can examine. <laughs> They're like... <laughs> We should have ended it. No, this has gone into really weird territory. <laughs> Tune in next time. We're going to trial again with the most, in my opinion, the most obnoxious defendant in the series. Walkie is, I don't like Walkie. Me? Ew, hey, man. I'm basically like Chuck E. Cheese if he was a fox and a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see who the prosecutor will be, though. Yeah, Marty's hoping for Francesca again. Hoping for a female. That's <laughs> my hope. Because if if it gets too hard to voice a big... Plum, little plum. Little plum. Then I'm gonna, then Marty's I'm also convinced she's the witness. Anyhow, have a great day and God bless.